welcome back well while um, Nadia is counting her blessings there are some people who uh, need help counting so we're gonna be speaking about education right here on now joining me this morning is dr. Clarina Spencer and she's an educator at both the secondary and tertiary education levels good morning and welcome good morning Carrie good morning Rockers. happy morning new year you. and happy um, you know <laughs> I'm very happy to be, to be speaking to you right now about your new book that uh, is has recently been launched no, actually, um, this is the fourth edition. The fourth edition. <laughs> yes. So well, the fourth edition has just been released. And we're speaking about the STAR approach yes. to solving mathematic problems for Caribbean examinations. Yes, we are. Now, children have, uh, you know, a secondary and tertiary level um, and even primary level. Some of them have um, issues with the way in which they approach the mathematics. You know, there's quite a high failure rate yes. when it comes to the CXE level maths yes. and, and even beyond. Mm -hmm. Now, you have compiled this information and put this book together with an, a different approach and a method by which they can become math stars. Mm -hmm. But before we get into the book itself, mm -hmm. let's speak about the author. Okay. So just tell us a little bit about your background in uh, education, in mathematics and sciences mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so I taught at Holy Name Convent for 14 years. I taught uh, mathematics and information technology. Wow. Then I did further studies, and um, but you know, once a teacher, always a teacher. So I have this heart to help children. Right. And um, when I saw the high failure rate, I'm happy you mentioned it. The statistics. When I looked at the statistics, see sex statistics, I became um, angry, <laughs> righteous anger. Right. Um, the the latest statistic that CXC has on their website is 2015, unfortunately, but it's alarming. You have in 2015 um, of 85,000 students throughout the Caribbean, 57% passed mathematics. Really? Now that's approximately 48,500 children in the Caribbean who passed and uh, 36,500 approximately who failed. Right. I mean, that's really an alarming yes, figure. A stark figure. And we are talking about each year, thousands of students are failing. So I decided, listen, I have to do something about this failure rate. Yeah, well, I mean, 36,000 something. And, approximately. You know, it, it just, it, it keeps adding up over the yes, years. So do the, the math, years. right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Do the math. Yeah, so that's, yes. uh, you know, potentially hundreds of thousands. Of students. Oh, yeah. And that's only in that short time frame. Yes. You know, uh, we, we haven't even spoken back to since the inception of exactly. CXC and all these exactly. things as well. So uh, let's speak yeah. now about uh, this book. How does uh, the STAR approach, um, yes. you know, really help students to become better at mathematics? Right. So STAR is an acronym. It means start, think, apply, review. So when I was writing the book, I decided I do not want to give the students a fish. I want to teach them how to fish. Right. So STAR is a problem-solving approach. So you follow the STAR and you are able to address the various problems that students encounter. And that's how I approached the book, like a dissertation. I taught about the problems that students are having over the years. I have taught, I have marked CXC, CSEC math, and uh, I came up with problems like critical thinking right. issues, problems like um, statement writing issues, problems like content identifying issues. So you have some popular words, keywords that right. are used every year, but the students don't know the meaning right. of these words. So they are, they, they are completing the question, but not answering the question, right. you know? And you have timing exam issues. So they're not completing the exam. Because so in the STAR approach, right. apart from showing you how to think step by step, start this way, then do this next, then do this next, and so on. Um, I addressed, um, I have a glossary of terms. So you have the popularly used words and the meanings, very simple. I have a section on how to time the exam, how to time people one, people two, and now we have people three. Right. I have people three in this latest edition. And um, you have, now if you follow the star, you will be writing statements. Right. And you'll be thinking critically. So. Yeah, and um, you know, the thing is, and a big one you brought up there is mm -hmm. the time management. Yes. And um, you know, the students 
covering the material and answering mm -hmm. the question yes. uh, with enough detail that they get their full marks, exactly. but still concise enough that they're not spending they too much time, exactly on, time. on any one question, yes. Yes. You know, which, which happens often, yeah, yes. you know, much yes. too often. And one of the reasons why students fail or will not get the grade that they deserve. Right. They didn't finish on time. Yeah, and, and not, most not students that they don't, don't know the work. Yes, right. and most students don't. So I help you prepare for the exam, teach you how to think. And this um, STAR approach is not just for math, it's for life. Right. It's the approach you would use if you have a problem in life. Start Think, Apply, Review. Let me um, ask you a little bit of a controversial question. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being that the numbers of, of fa the failure rate has been so high, do you think there's something that needs to change about the exam itself? Um, not really, because you see, mathematics prepares people for, um, for life. Um, we use mathematics in every aspect of our lives. So, for example, um, I mean, we may not think about it the way that it's structured. Right. But, for example, um, I'm coming here this morning, um, so the traffic light is on amber, and then it's, it goes to red. So even though I am stopping... Uh, um, I have to look in my review and estimate the speed of the person behind me. Right. You know, do some calculations. Yeah. Should I um, stop quickly, give him a little more room or a little right. more room? You know, so we use mathematics when we are cooking, when we are driving, when we when are... When the paycheck comes in. Yeah, in the, <laughs> you know, in the supermarket. Right. We use mathematics all the time because basics... Basic uh, mathematics is add, subtract, multiply, divide. Right. So math really teaches you how to think, uh, how to solve problems. Because so it's all about solving problems. It really is. It really is. And you know yeah. what? Um, I, I yeah. actually didn't think I would use, aside from, you know, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. I didn't think I would use much mathematics in my life after. But then uh, a few years ago, I started doing woodworking. And I realized, wait yes. a second, I do need Pythagoras Measure theorem. Measurements. <laughs> 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 and they have to be accurate. That's Else right. your stool or whatever or would whatever. be lopsided. That's right. Know? Correct. <laughs> Completely. But yes. with that, I want to thank you so yes. much. And where can we get the book? Okay, you can call me. My numbers are on screen. Right. 334 Three four nine five. It's my WhatsApp number. Also, you can also go to um, Ishmael Khan's in Port of Spain, Jadu's in Arima, um, Educators in Tobago, and Nelson's in Tobago. So the book is available from me. And um, you call me, you message me. I prefer you WhatsApp. Leave right. a message. I will contact you, right. and I can mail the book to you. Wonderful. Yes. So no you know? contact. Yes, right. exactly. In this COVID nineteen time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I all can right. mail the book to you. All right. Well, you um, have all the information there. I want to thank yes. you so much, Dr. Clarina Spencer, for joining thank us you. this morning. All the best with this book moving yes. forward. And I'm sure it will help many students and try to bridge that gap between the yes. passing and failure rate. Yes. Thank all you right? so much. <laughs> we have been speaking about education on now. You can go out, uh, you can contact Dr. Clarina Spencer to get that uh, information on how you can get the book. For now, though, we're going to take a little bit of a break and come back with much more. Stay with us. Okay.